Okay, so in our last session, uh, we we have talked about what are the various versions in WebSphere, and so the current version, and we have seen how do you set up uh, Linux environment in the last class Linux installation. So once we install the Linux, uh, <coughs> we can go and install WebSphere application server software product into that machine. Okay, so but here before we go into install first we have to verify prerequisites so prerequisite means suppose <coughs> i wanted to install ms office in my mission okay so before going to install i never think about my operating system and i never think about my uh, ram size hard disk capacity processor okay so i don't think anything about my hardware components okay hardware capacity configuration and working I just go and uh, uh, set up I just go and install MS Office software in my mission okay am I correct we never think about hardware yeah but uh, here yes so but here in WebSphere we have to think about the capacity of server so whether it can be able to uh, whether the server ca is capable or not so whether the server able to handle uh, the servers or not so we have to verify okay so that verification is done by the WebSphere application server administrator so before going to install product we have to check prerequisites so that is called prerequisites So prerequisites means what kind of prerequisites we can verify. First thing is operating system. So what kind of operating system we can use for WebSphere uh, installation and maintenance. Okay. So we have two types of operating systems here. Okay. So one is Windows. and another one is Unix okay so two types of operating systems so in Windows we do have uh, like flavors like Windows 7 okay and Windows 8 so we have Windows 10 okay and we have Windows 2003 server right and we do have Windows 2012 server so and we have 2008 also now we have Windows 2016 so these are all the flavors uh, available in Windows currently so you can go and install anywhere okay so we can, it can be installed in Windows 7 also right and Windows 10 three servers and server operating system these three are server operating systems and these three are client operating systems client means which we are using uh, for our PC our personal computer or personal laptop you can see Windows 10 8 and 10 so even though you can install WebSphere you can run WebSphere servers you can install the applications uh, you can set up WebSphere entire environment even if it is client operating system okay and but we don't use client operating systems in real time okay so we use only server operating systems server means windows 2003 server windows 2012 or windows 2008 and 16 so these kind of versions we can use okay and coming to unix in unix we do have multiple flavors of unix okay so unix operating system we do have linux and we do have solaris and aix hp ux so these four are the flavors from unix and in this four flavors linux having their own flavors again okay so linux having different uh, flavors like Ubuntu 
the Red Hat Enterprise RHEL Red Hat Enterprise Linux Centu OS Kali Okay Fedoro Susi Okay so like this we do have different flavors in Linux so it can be installed anywhere okay so when we are going to install a web sphere application server any any of the mission so these are all the flavors we can uh, the sub uh, the server can support so it can be a windows missions or it can be a linux missions so we can install anywhere okay so first check the operating system which operating system you are going to install after that we have to verify ram RAM we know random access memory, RAM size, how much RAM we require to install and manage the spare application server. So we require 1 GB minimum RAM. Okay. And and you can use 1 GB and up to 4 GB. Eight G B and 16 GB and 32 GB and 64 GB so this is the maximum and minimum RAM capacity you should require at least 1 GB RAM for web sphere installation and running the servers at least 1 GB it should not uh, below 1 GB RAM so but we are not uh, having 1 GB uh, every every PC having minimum 4 GB RAMs that we know uh, we uh, we have a very uh, like updated missions okay so in real time you can see uh, you can see 4 GB RAM missions you can see 80 GB RAM missions 16 GB and 32 GB and 64 GB so you can see these kind of uh, RAM capacities in real time okay so this is the minimum and maximum RAM capacity so we require for uh, web sphere installation and maintenance okay am i clear yeah adam okay so next thing is processor what kind of processor we have to use so we can use uh, minimum uh, processor is dual core okay so minimum processor is dual core and after that we can use i3 i5 i7 and we do have power systems high end okay that is the minimum and maximum processor size processor sorry processor capacity so uh, it should not uh, less than dl core but nowadays we are using minimum i5 and i7 no problem you can install in your pcs okay and if you come to real time uh, they they will not use these i3 i7 i i5 so they will use power systems so it, it's uh, it's not uh, that much easy to purchase it's a lot of expenses so 20 lakhs 30 lakhs one mission okay processor so they will purchase uh, those kind of power systems okay and it, that is processor and coming to hard disk capacity hard disk capacity minimum 40 gb is required and we can use 100 or 200 it, it is up to you so it can be anything 100 GB or 200 GB okay so we can use uh, this kind of space we require for uh, software installation and maintenance okay and uh, architecture architecture we can install in 32 bit missions and 64 bit missions so we can install anywhere okay so these are all the 
prerequisites we have to verify before going to set up WebSphere in our mission. It can be a local mission or it can be a project, I mean real time. Okay, so uh, coming to the operating system, you can use any operating system in the list. Okay, and Windows, and Linux, anything it can be worked. And RAM size, minimum 1 GB RAM is required. And up to we can use any GB from this uh, uh, from this list and the processor it should not uh, less than dual core so dual core and i3 i5 i7 and power systems and hard disk capacity minimum 40 gb is required and uh, we can use uh, it is uh, ever wish you can give any any kind of uh, i mean how much gb you want you can give and architecture you can install in 32 bit missions architecture and 64 bit mission architecture okay so these are all the things we have to verify before going to install okay this is very important so do not skip this okay so there may be an interview question like so how do you set up web sphere in your environment so they will ask question like this it's a very simple question but uh, uh, we never think they will ask this question how do you set up means everyone will say so there is a setup file we will run that setup file, we will install, that's it. So that is not the correct answer. First, we have to say, so we need to check hardware capability, hardware capacity of mission before going to install. So the 